Hi, this is Keo with LifeFromKeo.com. I was going to um, do this live, but my internet has been very finicky this morning. I've been out working in the yard. I was able to cut back my beauty berry. I wanted to show you all my fig. Um, after the hurricane, it lost everything, but it's starting to come back. And I posted before, I was able to dig up a couple of small ones and replant, and it looks like there's another one right there. This is my white guava that a friend gave me. It looks like it has rust. My blueberry did very poorly after the hurricane, but it's starting to come back. That's my pear. Uh, this morning, I came out and chopped back all of my elderberry. I did a chop and drop. I need to add mulch in this area right here. Was hoping for some cooler weather this winter, but not yet. By the end of the week, um, we're supposed to get cooler weather. There's a cold front coming through. Supposed to get rain tomorrow. Humidity today is about 99%. Um, Anybody want to take bets on whether I can keep this at a trimmed height? <laughs> I keep saying every year I'm going to do that. And here's some that need to be trimmed back right there. And right here, pinched off, pinched back, I guess I should say, so it, it gets more bushy <clears throat> instead of tall and lanky. There's my mulberry, and I chop some of it back. Mulberry loses, is supposed to lose their leaves. It's a deciduous, deciduous tree. There is my rose bush. I trimmed a little bit of that back, but the bees were really digging on that this morning, so I kind of left that alone. I still want to chop the rest of this moringa back. There are some pineapples. Those two little moringas back there I was able to cut back. My citrus tree, orange tree, navel. Um, we have a few oranges. I think this one's rotten. I kind of leave these to my husband to pick. But as you can see, it's starting to come back already with all this hot weather we've had. And then this is my biggest guava <clears throat> and I need to trim a little bit more off the top of that. This one really likes it here a lot. Um, I wanted to show you my elderberry are kind of like weeds. There's one there, there's one there, there, all over there, all over here. They just kind of pop up everywhere. I planted one, and this is what I've ended up with, a bunch down there. Um, I did chop and drop. I think I just said that. Anyway, try and do the chop and drop, which helps put the plant back into the plant material back into the soil. And this morning I had a dog on this road right here come up and start barking at me and growling and scared me to death. Um, thankfully my gate was opened and I was able to get in. These are my bananas that I transplanted and they are doing pretty good. This um, Seminole pumpkin just does not want to die. We'll see how it does in the cooler weather. We've had one night of cool weather, but it seemed to be doing okay. My tomatoes kind of went the way of my green beans. My beets, however, are doing great. I want to plant some more of those. This is an onion bottom that I just chopped off the part where it would be the roots and you plant that and you get a whole new onion. I've done that several times. Here's another shot from this side of the Moringa. This one I've had a really hard time keeping 
put down. Oh my goodness. Doggy is barking, 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 barking. All right, so I have that moringa to cut back. And then I have, I still haven't cut back the um, stock that has produced <laughs> bananas. It's back there, I need to do that. Here is my fire bush that is coming back. Oh gosh, boy is it coming back. This is another one I'm not sure what I want to do with. When it was probably about 12 feet, if you saw previous pictures, I kept everything cut back underneath and had pots. BJ! Here is my garlic that seems to be doing real well. My chocolate mint has come back. These are celery stalks that I replanted. My ginger is probably ready to dig up. There's one that has flowered. This is my Brussels sprouts. So that's about it right now.